Welcome back, and I'm back with T.I. and Tiny, The Family Hustle, Season 6, Episode 1 review. And I'm about to do this review kind of like I did the Basketball Wise review. I didn't take notes on this episode. I didn't really plan on reviewing it. It's so many shows that come on on Monday that I watch, and Love and Hip Hop is the only one that I review. So I'm like, I'm about to just put out a review on every single show that I watch on Monday, because I watch so many shows, and just see how the how the reviews of this review is and that will determine if I keep reviewing because there's so many shows on Monday that I watch y'all for real I watch Love and Hip Hop I watch wrestling I watch Tion Tiny and now basketball watch this is just so much so I didn't take notes but I'm about to just try to wing it and review it and let me know if y'all like it so basically this episode one and we know what's been going on with them by the way I didn't watch season five I think I missed that season. So watching this season is so crazy because I remember watching season one, episode one, being introduced to all of the family. And this episode, I'll get to it later, but y'all probably already know what I'm about to say. But basically, they're talking about how the divorce, they're getting a divorce. Well, Tiny says that they're getting a divorce. T.I.'s like, well, a lot has changed since the last time you've seen me. It's just so weird that they're not together. I didn't know that they were going to be together, like, seen at the same time in the same room. But I guess, you know, they were together for so long and they break up not that, you know, it's not that dirty. So they're together. They're cold. They're, they can be in the same room in the same house and stuff with the kids. Um, I don't know if y'all can hear that, but somebody uh, is cutting their grass. So I hope y'all is not too loud. But basically, um... Tiny is in her new house because she moved out of T.I.'s. Well, that's still her house, but she moved to a different house. And she's with um, Memphis' wife or ex-wife and Little Wayne's baby mama, Toya. And they're talking, and Toya's like, I just went through a divorce. Are you still going to go through this? Tiny's like, yeah, I'm going through it to Big D. And uh, Toya's like, to be honest, y'all y'all have such a good friendship. I think y'all should try to work it out. And Tiny's like, yeah, you some things don't last forever, something like that. Um, T.I.'s performing, I think, I, I think, I don't remember. But he's talking to his sons, Messiah and Dominic? Damani, Damani. And uh, Messiah asks about Tiny. Um, T.I.'s like, the girls got their house, they good. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, I didn't even, I've never seen their new baby. This is my first time even seeing her. I'm assuming it's a girl, like, I missed the last season, and I, and I never really watch the show, like, every single week, I just watch it, like, I catch it when it's on, it's on the DVR, if I'm not doing it, I'll watch an episode, but I did watch season one, and basically, um, Tiny says that she doesn't like, she is the one that filed for divorce, she's the one that filed for divorce, Tiny don't like splitting the kids she don't like you come get them i come get them i'll drop them off you drop them off she don't like that which i can see um it don't seem like their houses is too far apart either but basically this is the part where i was just like wow amazed when T tiny was talking to major what the heck he grew up so much it's so weird seeing him talk in full sentences and stuff like that. He is eight years old now. And I remember him being three, two. Couldn't say a word. Like, this show's been on for so long. We've really seen... I feel like I'm a part of their family. We've just seen them grow up. By the way, speaking of being a part of their family, T.I.'s mom was in this episode. It said T.I.'s mom, I'm pretty sure. And to be honest, I'm not trying to be funny. I'm not trying to be rude. T.I.'s mom looks so young. She looked... She looked good. She and like she looks younger than Ti's sister, who's always on the, you know. So that's just something I have to put out there. His mom looked way younger than his sister. But anyway, because his sister was like the babysitter, the nanny, basically, which that is nice to have your sibling watch your kids instead of having to hire somebody, an outsider. I like that. But anyway. When Tiny was talking to Major, he talking in complete sentences, and it's just so weird. Because last time I watched, he couldn't talk. He was running around. He was the cute little kid that everybody just, they just thought he was the little baby. 
now they got another new baby. It's just they really are the hip hop version of the Cosby's for real, for real. It's just that they are like they like black families' goals minus the divorce, which I hope they can work through it and don't go through with it. I, I hope I like them. Ti and Tiny. This is the whole reason I really like Ti is from his show. Well, I like this music already. Whatever. Major starts telling Tiny about, um, no, Tiny asks Major about a girl. It's so weird that he, it's so weird. It was blowing my mind. But Major says, no, I don't like that girl. She liked me. She came to the car, gave me her number. Tiny's like, did you call, did you call her? He's like, no. Um, I think he said he don't like her, something like that. And then Tiny's like Tiny's playing with her son, you know, she's like, Oh yeah, leave that to King. King's the King's more for girls. And I'm like, I wonder how King look, if this how Major look, cause Major look like King now, but chubbier, like bigger. Not chubby, but bigger. More healthy. Cause how I remember King looking. So I wonder how King look now. Cause if Major's eight, does that mean King's twelve? Cause we used to seeing King being eight and Major being four, at least I am. Like I said, I didn't watch last season. But anyway, um, sh Tiny asks Major, is King still with his girlfriend? And this is where the episode gets funny. It gets really, really funny. Um, it's not the best part of the episode, but it's a funny part. Major's like, nah, uh, basically King got front. Oh, Major didn't want to tell Tiny. He's like, nope, nope. He said, he got up. He's like, I'm going to leave now because I ain't going to say nothing. I ain't going to say nothing because if I say something to you, you're going to say something to Nick Nick and Nick Nick, Nick, Nick go go crazy and Nick Nick go go to the school. It was so funny when he was telling Tiny this part because it's crazy when I tell y'all that he, he grew up so much. He's not a little baby no more. He's like a little kid now. Nah, and I know you're not going to be a baby forever, but it's just weird for me that it's like you have a two a three year old kid and then you leave for five years, but you it don't feel like five years. Like your five years went through like that, and then you come back and the baby's eight and it's just like it's chilling, talking about girlfriends and stuff like that. It's just it's weird. But basically, Major said that um, King got framed for cheating, and it's funny because Tiny is kind of like similar, the same thing as Tiny. And T.I. Because then we see King. King don't really look that different to me. I know he's 12, but he still come off as the same. It's really just majors, major change. No pun intended. Actually, pun was intended. But anyway, King tells Tiny what happened. I tried to do this and this and that. It was a lot. And Tiny was probably thinking like, T.I. <laughs> But anyway, we get to the best part of this episode, which was Tiny and T.I. meet at T.I. at T.I. and Tiny's house. But it's the house that T.I. is staying in with all the kids, and they all together, and like they're like a big happy family. T.I. and Tiny are getting along. They're talking. It's not a dirty or a nasty divorce, you know. They they still co-parenting, doing it for the kids. Um, the house is ripped apart. There's no counters and stuff. The kids is like, what happened to this? I think Nick Nick said that. T.I. like, your mom took everything when she left. She took everything. And it's funny. It's nice that they can joke about that and stuff like that. Tiny's like, so we here. What we go do? And T.I.'s like, uh-uh, I'm here. This, I just want to see y'all. And I, I like that. I, I really like this family. T.I. and Tiny, the family hustle is a great show. Everybody should watch it. But anyway, they go downstairs because Tiny's like, we're not staying up here. She don't really like the kids to see that. <sighs> It, it's it's touchy, but in my head, I'm kind of like, how close were Damani, Messiah, and Deja to Tiny? Because from what I know, all three of them have a mom, like they, their mom is in their life. So Tiny would never really get to see those three unless T.I. is around, you know what I'm saying? It's weird. Neek Neek is not Tia's biological daughter, but Neek Neek is more like she's grown and she her dad, from what I know, is not in the life, so she can go to Tia. These three boys, I mean these two boys and Deja, 
already have a mom, so there's no reason for them to go. You know, what I'm it's you know if you know what I'm saying. I I don't really know how to explain it, but. Basically, they go downstairs, they talk, it was funny. Messiah tried to get Major 5, Major just turned it around and touched his head like, yeah. It was funny, it was a nice little scene, nice little, nice little thing. Um, they talk about how they try to keep the family together. This seemed like it's going to be a rocky episode. And I, this episode, like, this show is so real. This show is the most real reality show out of all reality shows on VH1. I guess I can't say that because I don't watch them all, but out of all the ones I watch, this is the most real reality show. Because in the previews for what's coming up on this season, we see that they talk about um, the daughter, what's her name, Neek Neek's mugshot. And I don't know if this happened last season because I didn't watch it, if they talked about it or whatever, but I didn't think they would talk about that. I really didn't. So. This season should be good, should be great, you know. I can't wait to see how everything plays out. Let me know if y'all like me doing reviews of this and if I should keep it up. Um, yeah, and, and check out the other VH1 reviews, Love and Hip Hop Basketball Wives, and I might do a wrestling review. So, catch you later.